John Cage made all of his watercolors at the Mountain Lake Workshop between 1983 and 1990. His uh, watercolors, like his etchings, his drawings, his, and his composition for scores for music and writing, were all based in his use of chance operations. He made art out of things, and then those things were not selected by conscious choice, but were selected by the use of random numbers derived from the I Ching, chance operations, as he called it. Instead of making choices, he would ask questions. And that if you use chance operations to make decisions about the answers to those questions, they would be good answers. John Cage met Merce Cunningham in 1938, we think, 1937 or 38, at the Cornish School of Art, where Cage had been retained to be the percussionist um, for the dance program, and where Merce Cunningham was enrolled as a student. Of course, later, first Merce Cunningham moved to New York to join the Martha Graham Dance Company, and then Cage moved to New York uh, a year or two later, and uh, they began collaborating, and, and really were collaborators for the rest of their lives. He had collaborated with Robert Rauschenberg in 1953 on the automobile tire print, which was a famous piece that Rauschenberg made where John drove the car with inked wheels over uh, a group of connected pieces of paper on Broom Street. It's a truly collaborative piece. John Cage's Steps is a performance piece for making a painting that he developed in my studio in 1989. So he arrived at the studio and a large piece of paper had been prepared and placed on the floor. There was a wooden trough that we built specially for a 56 inch wide brush made of connected hockey brushes. And we had mixed an amalgamation of black and gray watercolor paints, inks, and neutral tint. He looked at the materials and uh, decided to perform the piece with, with his shoes on and simply took the brush out of the trough, which, which we helped him ink and handed to him, and walked backwards dragging the brush over his footsteps. His footsteps were imprinted on the paper when he stepped out of two pans of black ink. It's a rather ghostly and handsome image that's now in the Bremen Kunsthalle in Germany. I wrote two notations for Steps at the request of Laura Kuhn and the John Cage Trust at Bard College. The first is a notation of the materials and, and uh, the activity involved with Cage's original performance of Steps in 1989. The second notation, however, is called John Cage's Steps, a composition for a painting to be performed by individuals and groups. We approached Merce Cunningham about performing the piece, and over a period of several years of considering it, he got very interested in doing it. And on October 23, 2008, we were able to uh, create three performances of Steps entitled Dancers 1, 2, and 3 with Merce Cunningham and the Repertory Understudied Dance Group at the Cunningham Dance Studio in New York City. And uh, Steps is uniquely a performance piece that uh, is an opportunity, I think, um, to fulfill his own commentary on, on, on all of his paintings in that he said it doesn't matter who holds the brush. I liked how the idea is so simple and 
that it's it's just having paint on our feet and being able to go across it yeah. in whatever way. And having Merce there was so great to give it focus. You can drag your foot, you can put pressure on the outside, you can move fast across the space, which changes it. Or even just the idea of doing some choreography that we did a section of the dance to. Yeah. Sort of as the first thing. But having Merce there to to give us these still simple ideas within a simple process as it is really helped and was a lot of fun. Well, well I, I think you have to just walk around, you know. Uh, but you can try some of the rhythms or it may change the the how much of your foot gets into the paper so it won't always be the same like top and heel toe and heel and toe and, and uh, toe and toes toe heel you can also do this no on the side on the side that's right yeah yeah, yeah. Mrs. Barrett taught me that. <laughs> when we were in the studio with him, like creating something that was a very special moment, trying to understand, we would always like have these moments where we'd like come really close to mm -hmm. like get close and try to be like, what is it that you want? And for him to like talk to us about what he wanted or how the step should be, or even just like taking a break and like sitting down next to him and him telling us stories. And I feel like it's really funny because we're that there, like the all, room and there, yeah. All, yeah all around him, like, sort of half-crouched and, like, leaning in. Yeah. It's... Used to be. That yeah. was our spot. <laughs> yeah. No, but if you walk on to it from one place or another, wherever you walk on will have the most ink. Yeah. Should we start all from the same side, or should we start... No, I think you should all come from different places. There's a front side and back. We're gonna do the one, two, three, four, where we like crash, where we all come. Just so you don't fall down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's the nice about this? You have to be careful about about turning the paper, making the paper turn. So you have to pick your yes. So you don't have to do it as fast as you do in the work. We did this little excerpt of Nearly 90 to start, because I think maybe he didn't know what he wanted to do. But then as soon as he did that, he saw, these are the f kind of the elements that I'm interested in. How can I explore them? And then he used us to do that. And I just love that so much about his art making. We try another one, or the same one. All right. You no, know, you can do this one again, but you're coming from different places. Uh, shift your entrance, come, uh, yes, come down further. If you do something that's quick, and I think if you think about staying up on your toes rather than putting your heels down. Okay, let's just try it. Ready, go.
um, let's do it again. Go, change your place of entrance. And just try this. You can do it, I think, even the same way. Or also use your heels if you want to. But stay on the edge as much as you can. On the edge. Okay, go. It's interesting that creating this art, we did it together in time, that it was yeah, his directions here are having us in time all making it together and stopping together, even though yeah. from the art that doesn't matter at all. Yeah. But that's how he wanted us to do it. Okay, now change your places, still go to some other side, so it's a different entrance for you. Now, I think you have to do this one at a time, but just one right after each other. Can you run across the thing from one difference so that if you don't all think of the diagonal, you can curve, but so you go, you're on it and you run all the way across someplace and get off. But don't do it all together, you'll run into each other. Just go one after the other, that's fine, yes. Okay, ready, go. Wait a minute, ready, run. Okay, next person, run. John, go. They're getting their heels down. And, and, yes, so you get a change in the dimension of the foot. Because otherwise it's mostly the toe work. Let's just try one other way. Pick a corner and run on the edge of the paper on it, but just so you're as close to the edge. Okay, ready? Go. No, no, run near the edge of the paper. That's the idea. What happens if you do this with your heel? That's what I'm talking about. If, if you do it, now then you're going to step. Then if afterward you step on your toe, so your heel's not on the floor, but so you don't ever put your foot down, okay. but you, the only mark you leave is this from your heel. Can we try this? Uh, take a corner of the space, and, and another of you, and do the same thing. Yeah? Keep going. Yes. Um, uh, let's see, do it again, uh, Dylan. Go, but go f across a different place than the others have done. Normally when we dance and when we make choreography with Merce, you know, it's about our entire body. Mm -hmm. Like everything to like the hand is like choreographed. But there was more like just the feet and like the rest of the body didn't really matter. Okay, John, let's see. <laughs> it's, like, it's like they're stepping on hot coals. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. I don't think we need any more. The, the shapes are the shapes are diverse enough. The, the, yeah. 
<laughs> do, you, do you want steps in the brush or just No, the I think the brush brushed just over the brush. this, so this is still visible. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No more steps then, so I'll ask yeah. them just to step on their towels, dry their feet, yeah. and we'll prepare the big brush in a light gray. Okay. almost Buddhist in it, and the, the, the way you have to pay attention, but everybody in a different way. The other thing I think that was really interesting is that when we were understudies like you, there was no guarantee if you were a rug that you would get in the company. And so that day, that work was like, no matter what happens, this is, we have left our mark in Mercer's work. Yeah. Like, even if none of us had ever gotten in the company, like, we still had this, like, thing. There was, like, a concrete, like, thing that we could look at and touch. And, and you often don't and have something concrete. Like, right. yeah. it's very rare. Yeah. Um, yeah. So. Like he said, it's fleeting. It's a fleeting really moment. And that was that. like, yeah. we have something. Yeah. We were there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's nice to experience both sides of that and to see that sort of contained. Yeah. rug experience and then and now be without him and having to explore the work and become a better artist by yourself mm -hmm. yeah. you're all set Marissa and I can redo these whenever you want okay and we'll bring it down okay down yeah Josh we're ready. You're off. <laughs> do you want to help me push you around? No, I don't. I think I'll just push myself. You can, you can do it yourself. Anything you want. And let us know when you think we should redo the wheels. Giving you a little more paint. Should I go off? No, right here's fine. Okay. Okay. See, we should just do this periodically. Yeah. Yeah, every 20 seconds or so. No, just when it runs out. Can you bring it down? There you go. That's it. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Here we
So this has sumi in it, it's going to be really dark. It'll still have a slightly blue color to it, but it's going to be very dark. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think I've finished. You think you're finished? Yeah. Okay. You know, it looks like Asheville. I think you're back at Black Mountain. <laughs> okay. Just like Dora. Just like Dora with gloves. Well, unless you would prefer, should this all come from one side? I think alternate. 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 Yeah. Could you bring the trough, please? Yeah. Merce, do you want them to overlap or just come alongside this line, not going over it? I, I think if you can come alongside. Who's ready? You're going to go, don't be afraid to overlap this side a little bit. You can bit. go over the edge. You can go okay. over the edge, yeah. Let's see where your end line is. That'll be fine. Go swiftly. And you can slow down, stop, push it, it'll, you know, do different things. Dredge a little bit. It's going to be very light. Oh, no, look. Pushed it. Very good. Oh, that's beautiful. It really brings out the wheels. I think this is enough. Enough? Yeah. Enough? Yeah. Okay. That's beautiful. Okay. Yes, I think abundant sometimes is too much. <laughs> the uh, procedure is so interesting, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. With all of these, well, this, but all of these troughs and, and the uh, preciseness with which you have to utilize everything. The, like the number of brushes that you have, two or more. Yeah. And also when the way that you move them, just by what they are, you look like, uh, as they, all these uh, guys do, like in the Japanese um, traditional theater, where they have the men in black who change the scenery. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, very much like that, because they do it so uh, without ostentation of any kind. They just do it. Mm -hmm. Come out and lift this thing up. This curious thing, which when it's upright looks like some kind of Chinese garden, mm -hmm. you know, or, or, or Japanese tea room. <laughs> 
was so funny the the change of focus because it was you know you were very much like doing your thing on the silk and you were like the focus of the room and then all of a sudden you stopped and you had like a bunch of people around you in one second picking you up and all oh, yeah. and then they were gone again in yeah. like one second and then it was yeah. you again and then yeah. it was like a race car <laughs> yeah but they they're very good they they uh, do everything so uh, directly they don't waste time. Yeah. But now look how quickly they're demolishing it. Merz, do you want to sign the big painting with the wheels? We have these big brushes. Okay. And it's actually really nice to remember, now that we're all in the company, to remember that really special, intimate time with Merz, because mm -hmm. I feel like once you get in the company, there's like what you think about and what you have to deal with gets so much bigger and it's like the performance and like worrying about the parts and knowing your steps and do I look good and like all the traveling and it's like it just becomes this like broader thing and then you bring it back to this and it's like it's simple it's just us and steps and merce and that's that's it there we go voila that's enough perfect It was a pleasure to have an opportunity to work with Merce on the three performances of Steps that, that he choreographed and performed in 2008. He had been considering the piece for a long time. We made a number of test pieces that I would bring occasionally to his apartment. And he, he would look at them. They'd be rolled up in the corner. Oh, we, we used a wheelchair, for instance, to make marks on the paper with inked wheels. And I think he got very interested in that. And of course, his solo performances, wholly his making a painting, essentially, with the inked wheels of a wheelchair under his own power. And I think that uh, he enjoyed the experience enormously. I got a nice note uh, saying so. I think the fact that, that, that he performed Steps is especially meaningful, because Steps is in itself a collaborative theater piece. And John Cage and Merce Cunningham collaborated on so many things over more than a 50-year period. And uh, it, I, I think his solo performance of Steps, which is called Dancers 3, is very, is very probably his, his last live solo performance.